Grand Championship belt. So here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Topuria. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title fight. Championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Max Blast Holloway. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight. Champion of the world, Ilya El Matador Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Topuria, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, the opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. Early connection with the left from the champ. Beautiful straight punch there by Topuria. Defense there, huge block for him. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the great time on that double leg. Nice shot there by the champ. Holloway gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Look at that, it's tight. Oh, he escapes! He got out? I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Hand fight, hand fight. Oh, right, it's a mount. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. 
All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mountain. Just go for the finish. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts draining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Holloway. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Oh, nice. Big power shot there. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Just misses with the left hook. Well-placed kick there by Ilya Topuri. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. Max Holloway at his best in the stand-up here tonight. Could there be any better representation of Hawaiian MMA than Max Blessed Holloway? Heavy kick downstairs. Thirty seconds to go. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action... Oh! Straight right, he misses. Oh, nice. Well, this is kind of crazy the way this is transpiring. This jiu-jitsu fighter looks like a professional boxer here tonight. He told us about his evolution. He has absolutely taken it to the next level. He has taken it to the next level, J.A. I mean, this guy is so comfortable in the striking before in his career, early. He looked a little bit lost. He looked like he was desperate to get takedowns. Now, he seems to be comfortable everywhere. So the work that they are putting in is truly paying dividends. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. He's got to be careful here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Ilya Topuria. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Arms are deep. Now he's out. The fight's going to continue. 
Oh, oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Toporti has got a cut on the forehead. Yes, he's bleeding now, so some work for the cut man in between rounds if we get there. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. What a strike from off of his back. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the this feet. This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Holloway's forehead is bleeding now. Cut is open. Straight right hand, no good. 90 seconds now to go in the round. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Reversal to top position by Ilya Topuria. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Topuria's eye is starting to swell shut. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Oh, that one landed, yep. 15 seconds remain in the round. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, he's done a real good job attacking that cut above the eye, and here is your visual proof. I mean, John, just devastating. These blows were amazing. He was able to land at will, and he opened up a nasty cut over the eye of his opponent. Now he's got to target it. And every time he lands, that blood will start to pour down into the eye, making it real hard to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, how good is that kick? Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Straight right hand now just misses. Head strikes. Nice kick. Holloway's 
definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that is already compromised on his opponent. Nice. Keep that pressure. They're about to break. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other. Yes, yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly. Oh, oh he's on wobbly legs now. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Holloway. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Nice single. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, and transitions right into side control. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Topuri is in half guard now. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, that right hand is money, and he's able to get it home there. Oh, it's back and forth we go. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Topuria's punch to the body rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting at him. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Oh, nice body shot. Try to establish that jab. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cup with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Take down a jab late in the round and he gets it. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Topuria going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. He passes to half guard. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish his fight. Very smart there. You never favor submissions over a dominant position. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you gotta shove that knee, John. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, the cut man has got his work cut out for him, and I believe we have isolated the shot that caused that critical cut above the eye. I mean, right above the eye, John. Too many damage and blows. He's got to change something because now every time he gets hit above the eye, the blood will start to leak in his eye, making it almost impossible to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Do we it. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that 
nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Able to check that kick as well. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Landed that left hook. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. He blocks the shot. And a miss with the right hook. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, nice straight left. Oh, nice hit. So confident. That timing was on point. Nice take down lane. Topuria's in half goal. A lot of top pressure being applied here. That was a slick transition. Now it's his mouth. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, he's out. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts, even when they get him. He continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these, take these submissions. You need to fight back. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Holloway. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Win the scramble. Holloway's back to the side control now. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Oh. Ref will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of bounds, they will not take the guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Nice crack there. Nice punch to the head. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Nice jab. Nice defense to block that punch. Holloway gets caught with that punch. Topuria is really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Gotta think they're gonna be busy in between rounds. Holloway gets caught by the inside leg kick. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. Whips on the straight right hand. to go. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight, because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. 
All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth Ready. and final round. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Punch over the top. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night time. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Topuria's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Well, this fight has been absolutely crazy. Both fighters continuing to target the head and the face of the other. I feel like we're going to get like an ambulance pick with these two guys later. Today. Yeah, they are both beat up. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, landing some big shots, too. And back and forth we go. Blood is everywhere. I'm just not sure how much one man can take. Never mind both of these guys absorbing a ton of dick. All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Well, it looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would let this guy continue, but here we go. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys win. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of a cut. I want to see the best fighter get their hand raised at the end of the night. Luckily, we get to try to do that. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Holloway's cut right on the bridge of his nose does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. And you got to think the ringside physician will, too. Referee might call him in here in short order. Well, this one is coming down to the wire. This has been so action-packed. I'm going to stand up and call the rest of this fight. I hope nobody is behind me. This has been insane. I mean, it's unbelievable that we've still been sitting the whole time. Multiple times, you want to jump out of your seat because these guys are putting on such a fantastic fight. Two minutes now to go in this one. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Just misses with the jab there. That's it! What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest. 
at three minutes, 12 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Elia El Matador Corporea. All right, so there he is, came in the champion, and he will exit that way as well. The UFC's king at 145 pounds. This dude might be the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter. He may just be the best fighter across all divisions inside.